it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for meet your neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I've always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in an NPC neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, could you be mine? Would you be mine? Won't you be my NPC neighbor? Hi, neighbors. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? I'm here with my hundred-year-old godfather, who always reminds people that it's a beautiful day. Every day is beautiful. There's an article on him that was written in the newspaper. So today we're going to learn about eclectic. Does anyone know what eclectic means? The word eclectic means diverse, of many styles, multidimensional. And that's how I see the world. I see everything as a puzzle. So eclectic describes all of my work. Can you say eclectic? Not everyone can. Some people say eclectic or electric, which is understood because of my hat based on the work of Nikola Tesla. Does the name Nikola Tesla light any bulbs? In fact, it lights every bulb on the planet. He was the discoverer of alternating current, fluorescent and neon light, robotics, remote control, radio, radio, television, x-rays, and the list goes on and on. In fact, he predicted our cell phones. And a lot of what we're doing in virtual worlds has to do with his work. So. Excuse me while I change my sweater and my shoes and my voice. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not sure what my real voice is. But this is me. And uh, actually all of my work is based on a, a quote of Nikola Tesla's, where he says, Though seemingly independent from one another, we are connected by invisible links. And I am inviting other students of nature to devote attention to the subject, believing that through combined and systematic efforts, results of incalculable value to the world will be attained. And I tend to see everything as a puzzle. If you've ever seen the Fox TV show Touch, uh, it was very significant to me when uh, I discovered that show. It really helped me to better understand how I see the world and have more con confidence in, in reading it and articulating it although it's always been a challenge to articulate it in words because I, I kind of see everything as a, a more of a visual puzzle. The words have a, have a big part of that. So hearts coming together is, you know, something that just happens. Hearts coming together is the uh, movement that uh, we started um, that then launched the love train. If uh, you're familiar with the song by the OJs, uh, people all around the world join hands, start a love train we actually literally started a love train um, in 2009 and unfortunately uh, circumstances left us with an abandoned train station and when we were trying to put together an event in England uh, the pandemic hit so we took a quantum leap and came into second life not to shut down but to expand the story to continue to uh, to grow the story, as the song says, people all around the world join hands. And here in Second Life, over the last uh, you know couple of years now, actually, you know, since the uh, onset of pandemia, uh, <laughs> we have been expanding that story and uh, making connections around the world to um, reflect back into reality and even help those of us um, locally who may not understand the vision who are. Uh, maybe focused on another singular vision when there's a bigger story um, to tell, uh, to see that. Like Pookie's talking about, like the things that she's doing, you know, in producing, um, using this realm to reflect stories back into reality is very important, I think, at this time. That's that's what we're, we're doing here in the metaverse, I guess you could say. I also have eclectic photography, which is... Um, really uh, I use as photography as therapy to help people to overcome depression and addictions and just to open their senses to the beauty of life that uh, surrounds us always.
the miracles that of everyday uh, wonders that uh, that are all around us. So I have an exhibit, a 3D immersive exhibit called the Butterfly Effect, Touch of Light at the Edge of the World. And it's about interspecies communication and phenology and symbiosis studies um, presented in a way that is, is truly immersive and makes you feel like you're at the level of the bugs. And, uh, and speaking of phenology, you know, the way that I see everything connected and dates are very important in that way. Um, the exhibit actually opened on the 10th anniversary of the day the pictures touch of light and edge of the world, which are on the uh, front of the gallery, if you come and visit, uh, were taken on 11-11-2010. The exhibit opened here at 11-11-2020. So my partner is Ava Dugall, who unfortunately couldn't be here today. She's visiting some family, but we sent her a big hug. And uh, we've been connected for a long time and, and working together on things like uh, Micro Philanthropy 10 projects and other uh, things related to the Love Train and really supporting nonprofits around the world. So I'll leave it at that for now. And I'll send you a quick link with a little more of my story if you'd like to um, take a look and invite you to. Uh, let me give you a tour of my exhibit sometime. Great. A lot of tours that are going to take place now. Mm -hmm.